All I can think about was my baby. Like, how was I going to get my baby out? Alexis Jenkins is holding her seven-month-old son tighter than ever. Their car crashed near Highway 171 and Mount Olive Road in Coker, flipping over and catching fire. I was so in shock because it was dark. And I remember my baby was in the back seat, finally, and I struggled to try to unhook him from behind my seat. And um, I couldn't get him out. Jenkins ran for help. Tow truck driver Andre Harris just happened to be nearby. And when I topped the hill, I noticed the car in the ditch on fire, and I noticed a lady in the road who was screaming and looking for help. Harris tells me he raced up to the car, elbowed the window in, reached inside, and pulled the little boy out. It was a lot of smoke and everything, and um, you could feel the heat. <laughs> and um, I just reached in the car and just started feeling around because it was nighttime, I couldn't see anything. Until, like I said, I grabbed the small leg and just started pulling. And uh, once I got him to the window, the whole car seat had come with him. Once I got him to the window, I kind of snapped the car seat loose and scooped him up. Jenkins says the crash is a reminder of just how precious life is. She's not taking anything for granted these days. I'm driving even slower now, too. And she's not sure her son would be alive now if it wasn't for Harris being in the right place at the right time. In Tuscaloosa County, Chip Scarborough, WBTM 13.